Is he even on our planet? Let's begin. The article says that campaigners and MPs have slammed a series of arrogant and sickening remarks by the BBC's Director General about forcing households to pay the licence fee. BBC Chief Tim Davey told regional staff that is truly amazing that UK households are happy to paying a forced licence fee. And not surprisingly, his remarks have sparked fury because the BBC scrapped free licences for the over 75s three years ago, saying the scheme was too expensive. Former Culture Secretary Nadine Dorries, who froze the licence fee at £159 when she was in office, told The Express, Mr Davey makes the case as to why the licence fee is outdated and the review into the future funding of the BBC is so necessary. Well, of course, the good news is that his remarks are bound to lead to loads of people cancelling their TV licence, and the bad news is it has made me angry. Who the hell does he think he is saying it's truly amazing that loads of people are being forced to pay the BBC if they want to watch things like other TV channels' lives? I mean, who the hell does this guy think he is? It might be right for rich people and people who just love the BBC, but what he's failing to take account of is that lots of people actually do get prosecuted for non-payment of their rather outdated, in my opinion, TV tax. It just makes me wonder why he thinks people are happy. I mean, who's he been asking? BBC staff and their family? Because they'll tell you this, Tim Davey, the rest of us aren't happy about paying the TV tax. If you haven't done so already, you could send him a really big message and tell him how happy you are by cancelling your TV licence if you haven't already done so. I'm sure that would make him really happy, wouldn't it? In fact, maybe just as happy as being trapped in a lift when someone has blown off. To me, it sounds like he's completely in denial and maybe he's not aware of Richard Sharp, I think it is, the other BBC boss, who basically admitted that the TV licence is outdated and needs to go when he was quizzed about it. And of course, while we all hope that the TV licence Royal Charter Protection does not get renewed in 2027, I think there is, however, a small chance that it could be if a Labour government gets in, because let's face it, the BBC does often seem to just say quite biased towards them, and no doubt Labour, of course, absolutely loves that. Which, of course, if it does stay around for another who knows how long, no doubt, of course, they'll continue prosecuting people for non-payment, including, most often is the case, apparently, women and, unfortunately, OAPs as well. Who, let's face it, some of them use the TV for company, don't they? Stoke North MP Jonathan Gillis, hope I pronounced that right, added that arrogance of the BBC is astonishing. Tim Day boasting about coining it in from tax forced on people during the cost of living crisis is sickening. BBC boss Mr Davey went on to say that the broadcaster had better budgets than some commercial operators, which he described as glorious. And not forgetting, it's truly amazing that we are pulling it off, by the way. Mr Davey reportedly said in a leaked recording in a meeting held on Tuesday that many households are pretty happy paying a licence being a forced payment. It's amazing that we're pulling it off. Well, I don't know about you, but that last bit... No, actually, hang on. Everything that he said makes me pretty angry. In fact, maybe actually angrier than a midget trying to reach a top shelf magazine, especially just to hear how apparently happy he was. But if anything, that's more than likely going to cause the cancellation rolling in, especially if people see this next video. Anyway, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.